Introduction to Cells Cells are the fundamental building blocks of all living organisms. They are the smallest units of life that can function independently and perform essential biological processes. Each cell carries out specific tasks that contribute to the overall functioning and survival of an organism. Structure of Cells Cells come in various shapes and sizes, but they generally share common structures. The basic components include the cell membrane, cytoplasm, and genetic material, DNA. The cell membrane acts as a protective barrier, regulating what enters and exits the cell. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that contains organelles, which are specialized structures within the cell that perform different functions. The DNA, located in the nucleus, in eukaryotic cells, contains the genetic instructions for growth, development, and reproduction. Cell Membrane and Transport The cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane, is composed of a phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins. It regulates the movement of substances in and out of the cell through processes such as diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. This selective permeability is crucial for maintaining the cell's internal environment and facilitating communication with other cells. Cellular Respiration and Energy Production Cells need energy to perform various functions, which is obtained through cellular respiration. This process takes place in the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. Cellular respiration converts nutrients from food into adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the primary energy carrier in cells. The process involves breaking down glucose and oxygen to produce ATP, carbon dioxide, and water. Protein Synthesis Proteins are essential for many cellular functions, including structural support, enzymatic activity, and cell signaling. Protein synthesis occurs in two main stages, transcription and translation. During transcription, DNA in the nucleus is used to create messenger RNA, mRNA. The mRNA then travels to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm, where it guides the synthesis of proteins by translating the genetic code into a specific amino acid sequence. Cell Division Cell division is a vital process that allows organisms to grow, repair damaged tissues, and reproduce. In eukaryotic cells, this occurs through mitosis, where a single cell divides to form two identical daughter cells. In the case of sexual reproduction, meiosis produces gametes, sperm and eggs, with half the number of chromosomes, ensuring genetic diversity in offspring. Cellular Communication Cells communicate with each other through various signaling mechanisms. These include chemical signals such as hormones and neurotransmitters that bind to receptors on target cells. This communication is essential for coordinating complex processes like growth, immune responses, and tissue repair. Cellular Specialization In multicellular organisms, cells often become specialized to perform specific functions. For example, Muscle cells are designed for contraction and movement, while nerve cells are adapted for transmitting electrical signals. Cellular specialization allows for the formation of tissues and organs, each with distinct roles within the organism. Homeostasis and regulation. Cells maintain internal stability through a process called homeostasis. This involves regulating various factors such as pH, temperature, and ion concentrations to ensure optimal conditions for cellular functions. Cellular mechanisms, including feedback loops and signaling pathways, help maintain this balance. Conclusion The Importance of Cells Cells are the basic units of life, performing a wide range of functions that sustain living organisms. From energy production and protein synthesis to cell division and communication, each cell's activities are crucial for the organism's survival and health. Understanding how cells function helps us appreciate the complexity of life and the intricate processes that support growth, development, and homeostasis.